welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people in the Android community. I'm Quinn Dow, and I'm speaking with... Uh, my name is Mike Wolfson. All right, and thanks for joining us, Mike. My uh, pleasure. How's your I.O. going? That's awesome. Fun, <laughs> fun as always. So where are you based out of, Mike? Uh, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. And how did you get started in Android? Well, a long time ago, I just uh, didn't like the iPhone and wanted an alternative. <laughs> Back in the day, I knew smartphones were going to be something big, and I uh, loved the openness of Android. So I just started tinkering. I created my own app just for fun, put it into the Play Store, uh, which became a real app that I had to support, um, and just kind of evolved that app as the platform evolved and uh, learned a lot. So uh, kind of like one of the big things that has happened last year, you know, you've got Lollipop and, and Material came in, and then so the app compat has been, you know, so much more important as everyone's kind of, you know, getting into this new design paradigm. Um, can you tell us what, how, how about you, how about you? What, what kind of work have you been doing with App Compat? Sure, so, um, you know, historically, the designers at, at Google and Android have come up with all these nifty little ideas, but they never really supplied us the tools to actually develop those things. So mm -hmm. forever, uh, they started to use, for instance, a card metaphor. But there was really no actual way to create cards, at least native within the system. Mm -hmm. So we either all did that ourselves using you know, shape drawables, right. or we found a library that we used. Um, but everybody's doing it differently. They all look different. And of course, the implementation details are all different. Uh, so AppCompat finally is providing us the tools we need to be able to do uh, the core components of material design, such mm -hmm. as elevation, or uh, cards, or um, uh, touch feedback, now mm -hmm. natively within the, um, using the app compat, mm -hmm. and it also now works, of course, back to older versions of Android. So uh, finally, we have the tools we need to do the things we need to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that seems like kind of like one of the biggest things when they first introduced material, is like all this sexy new stuff, and it's like, oh, how do we do that? So now we have. So what's um what's one thing that you think um people may not have seen in the App Compat library? For, you know, what's kind of like an important part of the App Compat that people really should pay attention to if they want to do material? Well, we've seen some new things today that we haven't actually uh, I haven't been able to play with, of course, because they were just introduced <laughs> today. Um, but there's a new fab control for the App Compat, which is really neat. Mm -hmm. um, but also, uh, I think the one I mentioned before, the card view library, mm -hmm. is really neat. It allows you to basically wrap any view with a card and then attach actual elevation to that. Mm -hmm. So, um, And it works uh, both in Lollipop and back in older versions of the OS. So yeah. that elevation, which is really kind of one of the fundamental aspects of mm -hmm. Lollipop, is now attainable on all versions of Android. So um, those are the two big ones. Um, do you have any like tips? So, like for for developers that are maybe thinking that you know they have an app out, you know they want to transition to Material. Do you have any tips on how to get started? Because uh, it can kind of seem overwhelming. There's just so much uh, to do and, and to, to play with, with Material. What are your beginner tips? It, that's a, actually a great segue to App Compat. <laughs> so, um, I think the best way to achieve Material design is to approach these native controls and common um, elements that. Google has mandated us to do. And since now they've provided us the tools to do these things, I think the best thing you can do as a Android developer is start using App Compat. For instance, um, Toolbar is one of the um, controls that the App Compat supplies. And this is actually the first time that we've ever had a action bar <laughs> compat that is supplied by the system that we can all use. So right, right. first step to start to achieve materialism is to use App Compat Start using the native controls because then you know you're using the standard material design controls. Mm -hmm. It's uh, they are OS specific controls and features, and uh, and also you're now building yourself a platform to move forward. You're now using what's built into the OS. Right, so. a great a great new base for everyone to build off of. Yeah. Do you have any say kind of like favorite examples of like material updates or any particular like Google app or it doesn't even have to be a Google app that you like that you think wow this is this is really what material is and, and this is what people should be kind of looking to kind of, kind of do. Uh, well, I mean, I think one of the real most awesome, uh, obvious examples is Gmail. Right, right. Um, they make a lot of use of uh, swiping controls and color. Uh, for instance, when you swipe away a uh, message to delete it, you see really strong visual indicator. Mm -hmm. The background turns green. Mm -hmm. 
uh, that's material design, using motion and color mm -hmm. to inform the user that something happened. Mm -hmm. um, that's really evident in uh, the Gmail app. So, and it's such a simple uh, example, too. Mm -hmm. So what of your, I think, um, what's one of your most favorites? Because like, there's so many elements to material design. There's, like, like you said, the elevation and almost this kind of like somewhat flat but somewhat realistic kind of like, um, uh, you know, aesthetic, but there's also the motion and the animation. Is there any like particular thing that is kind of like your, I guess, thing is like the most, your favorite thing? What is your favorite new material? I don't have element? one favorite thing, but I think maybe the whole material design spec itself is my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, for instance, the, all the typography specifications they've given us, mm -hmm. um, all the grid, um, uh, grid line specifications yeah, the metrics, they've yeah. given us, mm -hmm. the metrics, the colors, all those things now uh, are making it uh, uh, possible that the developer now has a lot more power and mm -hmm. control to understand how they can fit within the design. Mm -hmm. So they've actually now given us these basic tools mm -hmm. that allow us developers mm -hmm. to actually implement material yeah. design without needing a degree in color theory right, right. or really um, needing to understand all these uh, yeah. So I think the answer to that question is the material design spec Everything. in general. It's very empowering <laughs> right, to right. developers. And the, and the language itself, being able to, to be a developer and talk design is, is also been great too. But no, I think that's great. Yeah, the whole design spec. Um, is there any other shout outs or anything else that you want to, any speaking you're doing that you want to plug? Or, um, and, um, or any kind of like favorite resource of yours that people should know about? Um, Google.com slash design, I guess. That's... Uh, <laughs> to keep this consistent. Uh, okay. They just released a new uh, design page today mm -hmm. uh, with updated material design specs. I think that anybody that wants to accomplish material design really should read through that, both designers and developers. There's so much information. It's very clearly written, and it's a very clear um, explanation of what you should be doing. So I think that's the resource I would point people to. Awesome. And where can people find you on the internet, Mike? Uh, MikeWolfson.com is probably the best place. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, enjoy the rest of your I.O. And thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Thanks for having me.